up close to us just for like the intro of the explanation. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Lexi and this is Anthony, my first guest on a new series I'm going to call Lexi's Invisible Playground. Lexi's Invisible Playground, a new talk show series with a playful perspective, hosted by me, Lexi Lombard. Episode 1, Anthony Quinto. Before we get into the good stuff, I think it's important that we all get to know you a bit better. So for the first segment, we're going to do a little thing that I like to call cartwheel questions. So I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and you have to rapid fire give me the first answer that comes to your head mid cartwheel, okay? Ready for it. Okay. If you were a color, what color would you be? Yusha. Breakfast or dinner? Dinner. Who wins in a fight, me or you? <laughs> Verbally me, physically you. What movie can you recite a scene from? Mean Girls. <laughs> First vine that comes to your mind. You almost made me drop that croissant. <laughs> What's your superpower? <laughs> Cartwheels. What normal food do you think is gross? Waffles. Name a historical event that happened in your hometown. The invention of Canopy Lake Park. Never, never have you ever. Had sex. Top or bottom? <laughs> Undecided. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? Yes. Now that we just had our little stretch break to get serious, so we're sitting in these nice chairs and I want a chance to really um, get to know you on a more personal level. I want I want the audience to get to know you on a more personal level as well. Something that we both have in common is that we had just lived in LA and we've just moved back to the East Coast. Ooh, East Coast! So welcome back! Thank you. What are your thoughts on coming back here? What has this whole past year taught you? Oh my gosh, well, this past year taught me that there's so much to like be told about where you come from and where you started. Like, I think it's good to adventure off and try something new, but it doesn't hurt to go back and start fresh and see where life takes you from there. Yeah, yeah I really recommend everyone moving out of their hometown at one point in your life. It's all about experience. Yeah. When you get out and you put yourself in a new situation, even if it's like a town in the state next to you, it doesn't even have to be across the country or across the world or something extravagant. Just doing something new and gathering that experience and letting your body be in a foreign place will bring you so many treasures. You also lived alone though. <laughs> At a very That young is age. also another factor that's crazy. Living alone and doing it alone. At the age of 17. 17 years old, living in your own apartment in Los Angeles. Like that in itself is a very unrelatable situation. <laughs> yeah, it is. From living alone, I learned that life is not meant to be lived alone. To an extent. You know, I love my alone time. I, I think love, everyone loves their alone. Yeah, I love to chillax, but honestly, like it took me so while to admit that I thrive around people that understand me and people that I understand. Because once you form that connection with someone, it's so beautiful. I have the ability to relate to a lot of people with like one side of me or maybe two sides of me. For a while, I started thinking I was an introvert um, until I realized that I was just spending my time with people that weren't that similar to me. I don't want to be drained after hanging out with people. Oh my gosh, I was just going to say, friends should not drain you. Friends should like... Give you energy. Give you energy. like. Not necessarily have the responsibility to put you back together, but just like having that energy to just be like, hey, I know you, like, and I love you, and like, I know, I just fucking know you. Yeah. You know? I think that's a really good gauge of, of a friendship. It's like if you leave that experience hanging out feeling tired and like ready to go, <laughs> <laughs> you're not a best friend. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it shouldn't be a job. A friendship should not be something they have to maintain. It should just be something fresh, something that just flows. I think that's easy. Easy. That's crazy. how I feel in New York, you know? I also like I'm single now and I'm, you're single. I'm single. But you I'm had a relationship. Baby. I did have a relationship. So it was my first gay relationship. Your first gay relationship! <laughs> I don't know, it's weird to talk about because like when I look back on it, I was so obsessed with the relationship. Just wanting one. Yeah. So I actually I want a boyfriend. Literally like planned one to come into my life. Like You manifested it. Manifested it. That's the right word. And I did everything in my power, took every opportunity I could to get a boyfriend, and I got one. 
and I gather the experience, and I'm talking about experience again. And yeah, I'm just, I remember talking I'm, to you on the phone, and you're like, I was like, so what's new? And you're like, well, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> and that's it, though. That's all I could really say about it, because, like, there wasn't a connection. Like, it was just having a boyfriend. Like, it was just for, like, experience. obviously like. after it, it was just for the experience. During it, I thought I was, like, obsessed with this man, whatever. No, I wasn't. It was just, like, quick fix. Quick bit time filler in my life. But it taught me what I want, what I don't want. Awesome. Now, we got to get our muscles warmed up because we're about to take part in a jump rope segment. I'm ready. So for this portion of the video, I'm going to get Sandra and Maddie to hold an invisible jump rope. And we're going to do double Wait, dutch. It's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> They're going to shout out categories to us. And depending on the category, you have to think of the first unpopular opinion that comes to your head. And whoever can think of one first loses. Okay. Game on. It's talk format it, buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, turn it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it. Both going in? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Colors. Colors. I think blue is kind of it's not my favorite color. I don't really like blue. I'm so happy orange is trendy because I love it. Brands. Brands. Uh We have decided that we are going to do a game of concentration. Our special guests are going to create the category for us, and the first one to not come up with something loses. Concentration 64. No repeats or hesitation. I will start. I'll go second. Category is Unpopular Opinions about New York and LA. I like this. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect intro. <laughs> I hope you guys like the concept for this series. If you do, let me know and I would love to make more. And if you love Anthony, go check out his social media and the video that we'll be making on his channel. Link down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye! Game. Bingo, bingo! <laughs> you mean innuendo? <laughs>